वेलकम आई एम सुरेश फ्रॉम आई आर कॉलेज दुंडीगल हैदराबाद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एरोनोटिकल इंजीनियरिंग इन टूडेज क्लास लेट डिस्कस अबाउट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ विजुअल इमेज इंटरप्रिटेशन टेक्निक्स इन रिमोट सेंस सो व्हाट आर द एलिमेंट्स यूज्ड फॉर विजुअल इमेज इंटरप्रिटेशन टेक्निक्स सो इन रिमोट सेंसिंग द डेटा हैव बीन एक्सट्रैक्टेड इन टर्म्स ऑफ सम बैंड्स or quadrants so the satellite ha- absorbs the radiation energy and stores the data and that data undergo the interpretation techniques there is visual image interpretation technique or digital image interpretation techniques so analysis remote sensing imaginary imagery involves the identification of various targets in an image and those targets may be environmental or artificial features so they suppose there are some objects are there in remote sensing i have captured some objects or some regions or some location you can take an example of charminar in hyderabad i have captured the information using remote sensing in charminar i want to find some places makkah madina whatever the places are there in charminar uh, in and around Char- bagalish temple i want to find the location of those uh, object in the photograph so those can be done using the visual image interpretation techniques so analysis of remote sensing imaginary involves the identification of various targets in an image so those elements with some elements so in visual image interpretation techniques there are some elements like tone shape size pattern texture shadow association community okay height and depth like that there are various elements are there in your visual image interpretation techniques now relative brightness and color of the object okay so tone nothing but the relative brightness or color of the object in an image from structure or outline of the object is called your tone it is a function of the scale example warehouse or residential buildings spectral arrangement of visibility discernible objects urban roads buildings in a colony arrangement of frequency frequency of tonal variation in particular areas of an image like grassland forest etc and also it provides an idea of a profile and relative height of the targets relationship between the recognizable objects or features in proximity of a target of interest so this all the functions of the visual image interpretation now there are some basic elements are there so sp- spatial arrangements of tone so there is some basic elements are there in an image so the tone or color size shape texture are the secondary secondary level tone is the primary level pattern shadow is the tertiary level and sight and association is the higher level so there are different higher primary secondary tertiary and higher levels are there so this is how the square diagram or the diagram of your visual image interpretation techniques happening now you can see this image so elements of visual image interpretation technique you can see this shape depends upon the object outline you can see a football ground or some pitch you can see a pitch or you can see some agriculture land in square block like this right so this by this image we can say that there is an agriculture land or the pitch or the ground in particular region and size you can see the size also relative to one to other you can see size there there is one size here there is one size here you can see this size also you can see the shape as well as can size tone you can see tone also you can see light color and dark color here sight you can see the sight you can see the road some building is there some curve is there sight location helps to recognition brightness hue color light and dark color texture smooth or coarse so this everything is coarse this area is coarse this is smooth you can see black color okay shadow help determine the heights so there is a building see this is the shadow of this particular building this is a building and this black is the shadow of the particular building okay like that so here also we are building for building we have a shadow here right association features that are normally found near objects so you can see this is a lake here or some the ocean or some lake or water body is here so when we have some lake or water body we have some units which for irrigation for uh, for recreation purpose so when we have some water bodies we can see have some factories or we can have some recreation uh, items or we can build any swimming pools 
So based upon the association, okay, and pattern, you can see pattern also. Here. Which type of pattern it is? It is, a, it is also uniform pattern. You can see the pattern how it is. Now you can see example here. So you can see airport with these elements. We can extract the image like this: airport, bare land, beach, bridge, commercial areas, desert, farmlands, football field. The first image what I have shown you is a football field here. forest industrial areas based upon the based upon the association and site industrial areas may use mountain park parking pond with a water body okay based upon this category association you can see a pond also pond port which are association and site railway station residential river and video at so there are various uh, images which can be shown using this visual image interpretation techniques like shadow association site tone texture color pattern various elements are there so these various elements are used to analyze the object used for analysis of an object in an image now remote sense <coughs> is the art and science of technology obtaining the object of the reliable information of an object on the earth surface without coming in physical contact in fact we are measuring and recording the electromagnetic radiation reflected and emitted back by the bodies so reflected and emitted by the bodies so major objects objective is to analyze or understand the environmental and natural resources information in remote sensing so what is remote sensing the major source is electromagnetic radiation or emr radiation so here we have electric energy red color and a blue color is a magnetic field electromagnetic field this, this is magnetic field like this perpendicular electric field okay the direction of traveling so this is how the energy is moving the energy is moving from one place to another sun is the main source of energy that is electromagnetic energy energy propagates from one electromagnetic from one electromagnetic radiation to other from in form of electromagnetic radiation so this sun energy is emitting in the form of electromagnetic radiation so we have electric energy and we also have a magnetic energy so light energy is explained as electromagnetic radiation it can be classified to the light length of a wave all possible energy channels called electromagnetic spectrum human eyes can only measure visible light but sensors can measure other products of process of emr so human eye can measure only the Visible light, that is visible spectrum. Visible spectrum, remember this region. So we observe colors. Okay, the region between ultraviolet and for infrared and IR is called visible spectrum. This region. So this region, this color, whatever the colors are coming in this region can be seen by a human eyes. That is helpful for your remote sensing. And some other sensors are there which can read the other portions of the ultraviolet radiation also, like UV and IR, near IR, far IR radiations. sensors so we know the sensors in remote sensing are two types one is active sensor one is passive sensor so active sensor creates its own energy that is helium ion is placed in the aircraft or satellite wherever it is so this this helium ion will emit the electromagnetic radiation and that radiation will be sub, which will be subject to the target and target will reflect back the energy to the source so here the this is called active remote sensing there is an active of sunlight so works day and night no seasonal problem is there example radar and lidar in passive remote sensing depend upon the external energy like sun or fire etc works only on day time and is seasonal so in rainy season in absence of sunlight it is very difficult to perform the passive remote sensing example let's add lis spot and awifs next platforms used in remote sensing so in there are different types of platforms so here platform are the places where the sensors are placed so platform is the place where sensors is placed depending upon the working environmental they are classified into different categories one is fixed platform and other is moving platform so sensors are placed on two platforms so sensors are, where the sensor are placed they are called as platforms So platform two types: fixed platform and movable platform. 
ఫిక్స్డ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ఆర్ ద చెర్రీ బేస్ ఆర్ ట్రైపాడ్ బేస్ ఇట్ వెరీ వెరీ స్నారో ఎవర్ హాస్ మూవింగ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ బ్రాడ్ లైక్ ఎయిర్ బోన్ ఎయిర్ బోన్ వెహికల్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ అస్ వెల్ స్పేస్ బోన్ వెహికల్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఇన్ ఎయిర్ బోన్ వెహికల్స్ అగైన్ వి యూస్ స్పేస్ బెలూన్స్ ఆర్ బెలూన్ బెలూన్ బేస్డ్ అండ్ ఎయిర్ క్రాఫ్ట్ ఆర్ ఇన్ స్పేస్ బోన్ వి హ్యావ్ సన్ సింక్రోనైజర్స్ అండ్ జియో సింక్రోనైజర్స్ లెట్ సి అవర్ సన్ సింక్రోనైజ్ జియో సింక్రోనైజ్ ద నెక్స్ట్ లైన్స్ so the platform is a place where sensors are placed so platform are two types fixed platform and mobile platform or moving platforms so fixed platforms are cherry based and tripod based so they are not they are not free in space they are fixed they have some boundaries so mobile fat moving platforms are airborne and space bound so airborne we have balloon based and aircraft and space bound we have geo stationary and sun synchronizers platforms are there no types of space based space bound platform that is geo geostation and sun synchronized platforms we discussing in the next slide so geostation platforms and sun synchronized platforms so faces towards the particular portion of the earth if you see the earth here okay you see the earth here you can see earth in this in this figure <coughs> so geostationary platforms faces towards a particular portion of the earth whereas sun synchronizers platform crosses particular place at at same location local time so crosses cross particular place at same location local lo, same local time sorry okay these are about 6000 these are about 3600 kilometers altitude height these are about 600 to 900 km altitudes west to east rotation and north to south rotation so these are the these platforms are sensors and these are sensors these are moving from west to east rotation and is moving to north to south rotation the height is 360 km 900 km maximum so faces towards particular portion of the earth these are fixed so it faces only the particular portion of the earth okay the platform is here it faces only the particular portion whereas this partic- these uh, cross particular crosses particular place at same local time it crosses the particular suppose today 2 pm it focusing here next again 2 will come here but it in this case it faces the same pa- face for long time example for the geostationary practices are equatorial orbits we have polar orbits so they are in- angular coverage of 120 degrees and increase about 100 to 80 degrees orbit period 24 hours and orbit period is about 100 seconds approximately example for geostationary satellites are insat and gsat whereas for this irs lancer and spot so these are the different between your geostation geospatial satellites and sun synchronizers optical remote sensing optical remote sensing detects solar radiation reflected or scattered from the earth surface forming images resembling photograph taken from camera high up in space it is solar solar radiation reflected scattered from the earth the wavelength region usually emit extends up to 3 nanometers the visible infrared radiation and short wavelength infrared radiation let us discuss about characteristics of sensors so when the sensors are, sensors are placed in satellites these sensors should possess some good characters like atmospheric window spatial resolution spatial spectral resolution spatial resolution radiometric resolution and temporal resolution so whatever the sensors are placed in the space they should possess some characters so what are the first character is atmospheric window the spectral band for which atmospheric transparent is called atmospheric window you can see there are various sources in the sunlight energy emr radiations so you can see the completely opaque so visible window you can see colors in visible window infrared water and carbon dioxide are there radio waves is completely transparent and charged particles are in the after radio waves so x rays are ocean and molecular or molecular oxygen is there so spectral bands for which atmosphere is transparent is called atmospheric window so we have spectral band here if for the spectral band a visible spe- visible window is transparent 
okay so the, the the sensor should possess the character of atmospheric window so radio waves that was completely clear so completely transparent that is why radio signal can be available through <coughs> through all the places okay except in remote areas radio signal can be processed in many regions because it is highly transparent okay whereas in visible window it is also transparent but we can see some colors in ir and microwaves it is not so much transparent we can see only the blue color and water and carbon dioxide can be detected whereas in x ray and uv it is completely opaque it is not transparent so ocean and molecular oxygen are there in the uv in this region spectral resolution now what is spectral resolution the ability of the sensor to discriminate between the different wavelength in the detected signal suppose we know suppose there are visible ir thermal okay uh, x ray gamma ray here radio waves there are various are there the sensor should possess it should have a character the ability of the sensor to discriminate the difference between the wavelength in detected signal so whatever the signal is going back to the satellite the satellite have a sensor it should have a property to differentiate between the wavelength in the detected signal so what is the wavelength in the detected signal coming back to the sensor is it is visible is in visible spectrum or it is visible wavelength or is ir wavelength or the wavelength belongs to thermal radio microwave whatever it is so the spectrum should have the property of spectral resolution so remote sensing sensors can have spectral re resolution from more than 1 nanometer to 1 micrometer so low resolution are panchromatic single band and catrosat p5 and medium resolution are multispectral ms and lss3 and landsat high resolutions are hyperspectral and avris hypersen so these are the name of some satellites sensors which are in the space yeah you can see this so the ability sensor detect the different between the wavelength in detected signal so example of spectral resolution the same image okay it is a panchromatic image it is a multi spectral image it can see some detect it can detect some wavelength see here you can see the colors are detecting here okay b and f image shows cartridge pune image showing cartridge pune so this is how a multi spectral resolution and uh, single resolution okay spatial resolution so the a measurement of a smallest distance between two objects that can be distinguished by a sensor is called spatial resolution from space we can distinguish we can distinguish the difference between or distinguish the distance between two objects it's called spatial resolution so you can see there is a there is a road here one road is here the difference between the two roads okay or from the lake is here the distance from lake to this road is called spatial resolution a measure of a smallest distance between two objects that can be distinguished by sensor so the sensor should have a character of spectral resolution it can distinguish distance between the two objects okay uh, let's go spectral uh, this is spatial resolution spectral means different view panchromatic or multispectral what we type of view or which type of wavelength we are using or which wavelength is detecting the signal it should have this property and next one is these are satellites which are used for spatial resolution of spatial resolution of satellites corona cosmos en en vi vi sat ers gui okay and uh, Okay, these are some satellites which are used for spectral resolution. This is for spatial resolution, okay? And radiometric resolution. <coughs> so, atmosphere window, spectral resolution, spatial resolution, this is radiometric resolution. So, it is a resolution in the resolution is the measure of sensor sensitivity to the magnitude of the electromagnetic radiation. So, how sensitive it is, okay? Radiometric resolution is a measure of sensitivity, sensor sensitivity. Finer the radiometric resolution, greater the ability to detect this small difference in reflected emitted energy. Digital resolution is a is a synonym for radiometric resolution. 
So digital resolution is synonym for radio resolution. It is the number of bytes, bits compressing the compressing the each image. It is also referred as number of brightness level. So radio resolution is called digital resolution. It is referred as the bright number of brightness levels available to record the energy. Okay. So it is a measurable sensor sensitivity of the sensor magnitude is called radio resolution. It is also called digital resolution. It is also referred as the number of brightness level available to record the energy is called radiometric resolution. And the last one is temporal resolution. It represents time. It is a revisit time period of sensor to image the same area at the same viewing angle. So there is a sensor is here in satellite. So the sensor is capturing the some image. It is a revisit time period of a sensor to image the same area of this image viewing angle. You can see here is a place called Kedarnath. Okay. So the sense temporal resolution is the time period. So once the sensor have captured the image of Kedarnath in 2013 before floods. Okay. Before floods. And uh, again in 20 in 2016 or 18, the, the same image of captured by the Kedarnath after floods. You can see how beautiful the Kedarnath before floods at the time, before in 2013, June, how beautiful it is. So after floods, you can see how disturbed the Kedarnath is. You can see how what is the uh, beauty of the Kedarnath. You can see, you can compare these two, two images. So here the it is very uh, more number of build up area you can see in this region, whereas you compare very small area build up in this region. So this is how the time feature. So the sensor should have the property. Uh, should have the character to read the time period of the sensor of the image. Okay. Which is called temporal resolution. Thank you. That's for today's class. We we'll meet in the next class, next session. Thank you so much. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.